this coming next Thursday and our new SLS system. You see the crawler, the world's biggest moving vehicle that took these massive things out to the pad. My dad ran was one of the drivers for Bendix on the crawler. We used to have Father and Son Day. I used to go out there and we could play baseball on top of it and slide in the home. They'll drop you off from Saturn V complex and you'll see a real moon rocket. A real Apollo capsule that uh, that free entry uh, from uh, Alan Shepard of Apollo 14. You'll see a real, if you want to eat lunch there, you go to the Moon Rock Cafe and read the eat under a real lunar lantern. It's hanging up, it looks fake, everybody says, that's fake. That's a real lunar lander.
folks, is mining technology, that is, mining technology. That's about 17 million pounds. Where the two is on there, that's the mobile launch platform at 9 million pounds by itself. You have four trucks, two sets of tracks to each truck. Each track contains 57 cleats. Each cleat weighs one ton. If the driver was to drive in the opposite direction, was climbing down from the one cab, walk up to the other to drive in the other direction. Speed loader heads up to the bed at eight tenths of a mile an hour.
successfully orbited the moon, and the astronauts returned safely to the Earth. I know. I'm Jim Lovell, and I was one of the crew of this spacecraft, Apollo 8. We were the first men to see the surface of the moon from just a few miles away. But it was the hundreds of thousands of men and women who worked in that team, and the millions of people who supported the mission that really made it possible. That way, I guess, we all went to the moon. Now, uh, on the other side of those doors, you'll find an actual Saturn V moon rocket. It's still the most powerful, the most complex machine ever built. And I guess it's the only one that could take you to another planet. I actually got to fly one on the second flight of the moon called the Apollo 13. But uh, that's another story. Enjoy your visit to the Earth.